Hi guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm done streaming for today, so if I look a little bit crusty, yeah, that's why. But in today's video, I'm going to be going over how you can go and make yourself a profile photo or draw yourself a profile photo with very little minimal artistic skill required. I'm going to do a complete walkthrough. Please stick with me. You literally, it, it's, it's going to be easy. I'm going to try to make it as easy as possible, okay? Ah, uh, hello guys. I made my cam bigger because, you know, <laughs> I'm just kidding. It was just because I was um, filming a different format of video. So I'm just kind of testing to see how it goes. I moved myself in this corner so you guys can go see the layers that I have going on here. But this is a free base that I'm making and it's going to go be, I can't speak. It's going to be in my Discord server. Um, once I'm done making this, I'll show you where to go find it at the very end of this video because I'll be making it during this video. But currently there's three layers. There's one called the info layer, which basically just has this text that says the line art that I used um, in case you want to use the exact same pen and line weight to make sure the style looks consistent, which I recommend. Okay, I know it looks super crappy, but it's just, it's just some info text, the line art pen that I use. And to please credit me at Catliante, if you do choose to use this base for your profile photo, it's completely free. Generally in art, 99.99.9 times out of 10, you cannot go and trace over somebody else's art or yoink somebody else's art and kind of draw over it for your own purpose. There is one exception to this and it's referred to as bases. So bases are basically a base template for a body or something or other that an artist will make available to other people, to the public, for them to go and draw over and use. So this is one of those cases. This is the base that I made in my art style or I'm making for a profile photo. Uh, a lot of people are asking me to put this video on TikTok and uh, or to like film a TikTok version. I'm going to try, but this is going to be extremely hard because this video is really long. But basically, if we go to the right hand side, also for reference, I am working in Clip Studio Paint, but this is also going to be exported in a Photoshop format in case you would like to use it for Photoshop. And I'll have a PNG version. What you, what you want to do in the layer section is just to click the eye and hide the info text. That's not important. Now there's two layers. There's one layer, which is the shirt outline that I just drew. And this one is the base template. So I have the base liner in case you want to draw your own clothing on top of your chibi. But I also have a shirt template just in case like drawing clothing is difficult. I don't know. T-shirts is a pretty generic look, right? If you're going to choose to use only the lines and not the actual um, colored version, the coloring on it, then what you want to do is to just color within the lines, the skin and the shirt. Also, in case I didn't make it clear, you should always go and color beneath the line art layer. So the shirt layer is here, and this is the shirt line art. This is the base chibi line art, and you want to color the skin beneath that line art layer. And then you're just going to go and want to go and color in the eyes with the color of your choice. I'm going to have one layer called um, eye white, which will just be the default like iris white color right here. And you can just go leave that. You don't, You can draw it in if you would like, but it's just a default one. And then I'm also going to, on the same default layer, have the mouth already colored in. All right. And now we have the mouth and the skin colored in with like a base flat color. You can kind of leave it as is, or you can go and shade it if you would like. For simplicity's sake, let's just start with a shirt first, you know? We're going to make a clipping layer on top of it and then use the color dropper tool and select the color of the shirt. So in the color dropper, right, where, since the shirt is blue, we just want to move, pick a warmer color. So move the color wheel closer to red. Um, so we're going to kind of go this way over a little bit. And then we want to take this color and go diagonally down just to see. Now I'm going to color in with the G pen as well. So we're going to do some sort of cell shading. If our light source is kind of going this way, kind of coming this way on our chibi, then the shadows would be on the opposite side. So the light would hit here and then the shadow would go on the opposite side. So we just kind of like put a put a little like shadow over here and we'll put one over here. And let me just draw like something like that for the potential creases and folds in the shirt. Also, if you would like, you can literally just completely replicate exactly the way I'm shading this shirt. It's a very simple form of shading. It's just called cell shading. So you can literally just replicate exactly the way I am shading this shirt. Now we're going to make a new clipping layer. And then on the color wheel, let me just drag myself over. We're going to go and pick 
uh, we're going to go and color select this blue again to center it. And then we're whatever direction we moved this way for the shadow, we're going to move the opposite direction and then move move this color selector closer to white with the same G pen. Actually, no, I need to pick an even lighter color. And you can just kind of just adjust as you go along the way. I'm going to go and highlight in the direction that the light should hit. And you see where the light is going? So the light should hit here. The light should also hit somewhere around here. You can add one like on the crease here. And then I'm going to kind of use some of the light for the collar of the shirt as well. And again, you can literally just copy exactly where I placed the shadows and the highlights, right? Wherever you see the lighter colors on the for the shirt color of your choice, just go and add that. And wherever you see the darker colors, you can go and add that on yours. And I'll give you the working file for this art piece in case you would like to go and like directly manipulate within this drawing. Now we're going to go work on the skin. So we're going to add a layer on top of it and make it a clipping layer. Color select where the chibi skin. And you're going to have to add a little bit more later because of once we add the hair, this is just like kind of basic coloring. Again, on the color wheel, we want to pick a color closer to red. So you want to move this closer to red. And then again, kind of move diagonally over like this. So this is where we're, this is how we're gonna pick our shading color, our shadow color. And then again, so start off with. Oh, actually, I need to make it even more red under the neck right here. We want to start with um, directly under the neck like this. And then because the light is coming in this direction, we can kind of cast a little triangle angle like this, like so. Kind of because that's where the light would hit. And then on the arms right here because the light is going this way and then this arm would be pretty dark because there's no light source reaching it. Something like this. And then I just kind of like to do this with the ear because the light is kind of coming at an angle. And then on the face as well, assuming that there was no hair, right? You kind of go alongside this opposite side of the face because again, the light source is not there. And then I'm just going to kind of color like so and then, all right, there we go. And then I also just like to give a little bit of shadow above the eye. So I'm just going to outline the eyeliner shape like this. It's very subtle, but it really does the job. So and then we're going to hit a new layer and we're going to make it a clipping layer. OK, this might be a better spot. So then we're going to go grab the color select tool, select onto the base skin color. Go back to I'm just going to go back to G pen wherever this is right here. You want to move it further from red and then let's make it a little bit lighter. Let's see this color. Yeah, I can make it a little bit lighter. Let's move it over. All right. And then wherever the light would hit again, the opposite side of where you shaded, you want to just add these little subtle highlights. So again, if there were no hair, then we draw um, eyed color on this side and down like so, because it's highlighting the opposite side of the face. So now we have some basic skin shading going on. We can also quickly do the eyes as well. So I want to hit plus and then we're going to add a clipping layer and then color select the eyes. This is some very simple eye shading. We're going to just move the color in either direction. This one doesn't really matter. Pick a darker color. You want to always move it diagonally. Darker color, just draw a straight half like this, like cut color the top half of the eye with the darker color you just selected, like so. We're going to pick an even darker color and then draw two ovals. You kind of look a little bit cross-eyed, but it's completely fine for now. And then this is the simplest form of shading, right? And then we're going to go in the opposite direction now for our highlights and then pick a much lighter color and then just draw a bunch of dots. You can vary the shape for a little bit more depth and then select white. You want to go and draw a little white circle right here, which is where you should be looking. On the opposite side of the pupil, you want to just draw your other little dot like so. All right, and then there you have it. And then some basic eye shading, right? So now we have shaded our little chibi, but our chibi does need hair. Okay, and this is kind of a tricky part. You need to go and draw on your own. I'll definitely help give some pointers. So we want to start sketching the hair. And generally when sketching the hair, you can break the hair up into three portions. You'll have the front bangs and you want to follow for the bangs. You want to follow the shape of the head, like where the head outline is. That's where the bangs should be. And then you would need a side piece. And then you kind of want to go right. The side piece should go higher up. You should have like maybe a small little gap between the top of the head and where the side piece would go. And this is these are the side burns. I hope this model thing is making sense. I'm really trying to make it as self-explanatory as possible. So sideburns are the gr are the green, and then we'd have the back hair piece, which probably which would go up a little bit more. It would go out a little bit more, and then it would fall into 
So if you were drawing shorter hair, um, it would kind of follow this curve. So it would kind of follow like this, this curve along your head if you were drawing shorter hair. If you're drawing longer hair, just kind of extend it downwards as so. Like it's a, this is just kind of like a rough estimate if you were to draw longer hair, but you would extend it downwards like this. Okay, so here we have a base template and then this is the shirt, right? So if it was without the model, the shirt would just look like that. So it's just two separate layers, but then we can have the hair and then the base and those lower the opacity of the base, right? Going by the hair template, which is gonna be a little bit hard to see, we're gonna wanna make a new layer and then we're gonna wanna grab our G pen and make it 25 weights and pick the same color as the base outline. We want to go and draw the hair now. So we want to draw it based off this like section grid thing that I drew. First off, we need to go draw the bangs. So I would just follow this, which also, yeah, if you don't have bangs, you can just completely skip it. All right, so then we kind of kind of have the bangs going. Not the best, like if I were, I wouldn't do this for a commission, but you know, it's just an example. And then we need to do the sideburns. So you don't need to follow it all the way like this. You can just kind of start it, start it down here or something like that, a little further down. And we're gonna wanna draw um, the sideburns because it frames the face. The thing is though, you don't necessarily wanna all cover the eye completely, unless it's the look you're going for. That's just something that I try to avoid so you can still see the detail of the chibi. So you see how it looks now, right? We already kind of have like two pieces of the hair drawn. And then the back piece, we want to kind of follow the back, draw alongside it, same thing on this side. And I'll just kind of draw like a little, little line right here just to kind of, you know, indicate the hair parts and to continue following along the bluish purple line on this side. All right. And then I want to give this chibi like kind of longish, but shortish hair, like kind of like a little cute little bob or something. But yeah, you should always draw the hair in pieces. It generally is like the cutest look. And then now we have a rough little hair outline and I wouldn't draw this for a commission or anything like that, but you know, it is what it is. So we have a little hair outline, we have the shirt now. So when you're coloring it, you should color the bangs and the sideburns on a layer that is on top of the shirt and the base, but the back piece should be behind. You know, use the base color and color a line along where I think the sideburns and the front piece would be just kind of following along that and then you're going to want to make a layer beneath the base layer so this way like the hair kind of doubles up like this because otherwise if you were to color the back piece on the layer that's on top of the base it would color on top of the base like so so it's just a layering thing all right and here is some mediocre looking hair one thing we do want to do though is go back to the base shading layer because see it kind of looks a little, the forehead looks a little bit awkward. That's because the shading isn't quite there. There's no shading for the bangs. Want to color select the shading color, go back to our G pen and shade beneath all the bangs. So you just want to like outline it. So we do, or I'll make it on a new layer because I'll delete this layer. Shade here and then on this side and then here. Kind of like this. So you're shading beneath the bangs like so and then alongside the ear and now the chibi is better shaded. Now coloring the hair is a little bit tricky. We wanna add a new layer on top of the front piece, make it a clipping mask. Same thing, color select. You guys are probably tired of hearing this. You take this blue color, you move it closer to red and you select diagonally downwards. And now we're gonna go and shade the hair pieces. So what I just like to do is kind of like follow along. And this is some like very, very, very simplistic type shading. I'm just gonna make it as simple as possible. So I'm just gonna kind of like outline the bangs with this shading color. Just kind of outline around it like so. Whatever shape you drew the bangs in. Kind of section off the hair pieces. So wherever you drew these the, the lines with your line art, I'm just gonna go and make it more, deepen it with um, these shadow, these shadings. And then wherever I drew the part, I'm gonna kind of like make two C's. So this is where the part for the bangs is. So I'm gonna make one C like this and then one C to section the hair off like so. So here we have it sectioned off now, kind of. And then I'm gonna make the brush pretty big and I'm just gonna draw, I'm gonna cut the, the sections in half with the shading. All right, and I wanna do this with the front piece too. Like wherever the middle of the hair piece is, you just kind of wanna cut it in half with your shading. <laughs> I don't know, it's like, is, this, is there a better way to say this? Now for the base, we wanna make a new clipping layer and with the same color, the portions that's gonna be by the nape of your neck just color it all with this like darker shadow color and again the best way is when you're coloring hair 
to go and work in sections. So I'm just kind of arbitrarily saying that this like little C curve and this C curve is just two different sections. I'm just going to color everything else separate. And then I'm going to shade like behind the ear, ear kind of, which is kind of where some shadows would be. And then at the parts. So I'm going to make, oh, okay. I have two layers. I'm going to make the C curve here. And then back on the front piece layer, I'm just going to kind of like finish it up because there are, the two layers don't line up quite right. So it's kind of close enough, you know, seems legit. Right. Also, I don't like this base color anymore. It's a little bit desaturated. Let me just change it to a different blue color. Okay, I just subtly changed the blue because I didn't like the original blue. Now we're going to add a new clipping layer on top of the base color, the, the front piece. We're going to color select the bangs. And then on this color wheel, we're going to go further away from the sh shading color we picked. Brighter. So move up and then to the left. And then you're going to want to pick a color. And this will be your highlight color. So for the highlight color, we just want to highlight the individual sections of hair like so. I love highlighting. It's like my favorite part of coloring. And the bottom pieces. You see how I'm kind of like coloring the bottom pieces. Each piece, the bottom chunk of it in the shape of a C. Just kind of going around and doing that with all of the, the, the hair chunks. Draw an arbitrary line going across. So we're gonna kind of we're gonna kind of like draw immediately on top of the shadow color. Same thing here. We're gonna go and color on top of it. Get onto the base layer, and then we also want to apply the highlight on the side where the lighting would hit, which is the left side. And then highlight along like this, and then highlight along. And then same thing. I'm just gonna color the tips with this like C shape shading, and then add a little bit of highlight here. We're gonna go back to the top hair piece, the front piece. Go back to the shading layer. Grab the eraser, make the eraser like 50 weight, and then just kind of like erase chunks out of the shadow. Oops, not like that. Kind of like this. And then here's a very, very, very simplistic way on how to go and shade a chibi and color it and draw your own chibi without needing to know too much art. If you really don't want to do too much art, what you could do is don't shade at all. Okay, here's the chibi and I took off any shading. All you need to do is literally be able to color in the lines and just kind of follow the template on how to go and draw the hair. <laughs> All right. And then if you join my Discord channel, which is discord.gg slash catliente, it should be linked down below and I'll put it on screen if I remember. But if you go into the resources channel, now I have uploaded... I had to burp. Oh my god. I've uploaded the chibi base resources. So just please give me credit somewhere in the panels. This link right here is the Photoshop document, which is exactly what I'm working with in Clip Studio Paint. And then the first one is line art only with um, no t-shirts. Second one is the chibi just colored in with no shirts. And the third one is the chibi with the shirt on. <laughs> um, it's just like the full thing with no hair. So these are just the, the three template bases that you can go and use. These ones are just reference. Just I mean, if your skin tone is roughly similar and your eye color is brown and you want to wear a blue shirt, then I guess this is the closest one. I wish I could go and make like different colors for every every color combo possible, but it simply just doesn't. Have, I don't have enough time, so I just drew the chibi based on how I look like. All right, and if you like this video, please let me know if it was helpful or not. Um, apparently I told people that I would do this a couple months ago and I completely forgot, but I got it filmed now, so I'm gonna get it uploaded soon, so I'm pretty hyped. But let me know if there's any tutorials, any other resources I could provide you guys because I'm always here to go help you guys out. I really just want everyone to not have to go and like spend a year and a half trying to figure out this whole streaming thing that I kind of got figured out so I can go help you guys speed run the process. But if you like this video, I also stream on Twitch and I also draw on Twitch too. And I also answer a lot of streaming advice questions. It'll be linked down below. It's also Catliente and I'd love to see you there. And if you like this video, I hope to catch you guys in another one. Peace.